Next, let's take a look at how we can use Ansible Galaxy to begin working more with roles, which are used to organize our tasks. And so we're able to discover roles from the wider community. We can share roles that we create ourselves, or we can just keep them to ourselves. And so we'll be looking at a few commands here on the command line, and we'll be doing a live demo to show what it looks like to have a role that's already well built and uh, run that on uh, our test systems. So in the first place, we can uh, initialize or, or create a role structure really helpful because roles do have a more advanced structure than the typical playbooks. We're able to uh, take a command like this and then basically we can go ahead and take a look at this and see the, the structure that's been created for us. So that kind of gets us off to a fast start, which is helpful. Um, we can also do things like uh, search for um, roles that are in the community. For instance, uh, take anything uh, like Flask and go look for what others may have done about that. With that said, though, this is you know just pretty basic. Uh, it goes in more or less uh, alpha order on what is available in Galaxy. But more commonly, what happens is you'll discover when you look under Galaxy, even if we start back at the home, we go under something like the, the system collections. We can see here if we look for uh, something related to AWS System Manager. This is a pretty popular role uh, by any community measurement. So we'll get, we can go ahead and copy this. And from here, um, we can go ahead and actually just run this directly from here. And this actually shows us the, the full path. We're already in that path. And so we can go ahead and, uh, and tree that out. From here, we see a lot going on. And then what we can do is uh, actually CD into that. And then we can BIM something like the, uh, the tasks here and just get a look at it. And so we can, uh, with licensing and so forth accounted for, we can make this our own if we'd like to. So for the live demo, we'll be taking a look at, first of all, uh, the repo and what the tasks of a, a role that would create an Apache server in our environment that would have our custom code uh, applied to it, some of the things that it's doing here, making sure that uh, HTTPD is installed, giving ourselves a site enabled directory, copying the HTTP config file, uh, templates, which we've uh, discussed in a previous video, uh, help us there a lot, creating a customized index.html file, and finally starting Apache. So those were all, you know, the tasks that we needed to perform to, you know, go ahead and configure this, and so we'll be doing that next. Normally, when you work with roles, just another simple uh, thing to understand is that usually there's another playbook. The typical convention is to call it site.yaml. Um, this is here to be the entry point for actually using the role uh, because uh, ideally, um, in more complex environments, you would stack roles together and have them run in a certain order and produce the final system that you want to have. So with all of that preamble, um, just to look briefly at the uh, the job template here. So we have an inventory credentials and we are using that site file as I mentioned. And we'll go ahead and launch this on our test systems. And with any luck, we'll see pretty quickly our Apache web server running on one of these. So it's going through that install of the uh, Apache service. Creating that site enable directory for us if it didn't already find it. And doing those template file copies. And so what we should be able to do now is go over to this system and uh, do even something as simple as curling the local host. And we should see our custom HTML file there. So that's just a quick look at how we can start using roles really quickly, whether uh, from the community or even for ourselves.